Hi, welcome back. This is um, going to be Cobalt Burn versus Ernamageddon. The first stick you're seeing here is Ernamageddon. Uh, balance, Ernamageddon. Um, <clears throat> second deck here is Cobalt Burn. We've got a Wheel of Fortune there, Winds of Change, Ball Lightnings, all the different Kobolds, Overlord, Taskmaster, Drill Sergeant, and a Fork. Do a Fallen Star and a Chaos Orb in there well for, as well for removal. Alright, here is game number one. Mountain into a soul ring. And there's a chaos orb. On this side we got a factory and then a Mox Pearl. And a Lantex. There's a desert. Cobalt Drill Sergeant. It looks like I'm going to flip the orb on the land tax. Oh, it's a good hit. There's a forest. And a little more elves. And he's going to activate his factory and attack for two. There's another Cobalt Drill Sergeant. Uh, what Cobalt Drill Sergeant does gives all Cobalts plus zero plus one. There's a strip mine on my desert. It's like a disenchant on my soul ring. And there's a kobolds of Kirk Heap. And then I'm putting that giant strength on the kobolds. So the kobolds is a zero casting cost, it's a zero one creature. With a giant strength, it gets plus two, plus two. And then with both drill sergeants, it gets plus zero, plus one for both of them. So actually that is now a two, five creature. And there's a swords of plowshares on the kobold. I should actually be removed from the game, and then I'll gain two life. So I'm back to 20. So Lenoir Elves attacking. Puts a giant growth on the Lenoir Elves. So that's four damage to me. Plus the Maestro's Factory, so that was actually... I'm trying to think how that worked here. Should have been six damage. There's a Sylvan Library on his side. He activates his factory, and then I use a lightning bolt to kill it. And I'll take one from the Linen War Elves. <clears throat> Mountain. A fireball for one on the Linen War Elves. Then I attack for two. And what the Sylvan Library does, it allows you to look at the top three cards during your draw step, and you choose one, and you put the other two back on any order, or you can pay four life and get an additional card. And there's another Lenoir Elves. There's a, there's a Crimson Kobold, I believe. It's another zero casting cost, zero one creature. But because of the two drill sergeants, it's actually a zero three creature. Then I attack for two.
Looks like he's attacking for one. And then I'm telling him that's a zero three creature. So I just block with the kobold. There's a mana flare. And then what that does is each mana produces an additional mana that it already produces. So each forest will produce two, four, two greens and each mountain will produce two reds. Works really well with the candelabra that I have in here, candelabra Thanos. I only have one, but I have it in here uh, just as a backup. And there you see an Urnum Gen on his side. And he attacks for one. I block with the Kobold again. And there's a Wheel of Fortune. So we'll both discard our hands and draw seven new cards. Found a Mountain. Kobolds of Kirkheap. And a Crookshank Kobold. And there's a Ball of Lightning. I'm explaining it to him a 6-1 trample. It can attack the turn it comes into play, so it has haste and attacking. So I'm explaining it to him he can block and he'll take one damage and his urn will die, or he can just take the full six. And he decides to take six. There's a Maestro's Factory on this side. And a Savannah Lions. He's attacking with his Urnum. I'll block the Urnum with one of my Kobolds. Or Chum Block. And then I pass turn. So right now I'm just looking for a fireball. If I can find a fireball or a disintegrate, I could kill him. I got four in my deck and I got two incinerates or disintegrates. So that's six cards. I just need one of those cards that I'm looking for. With a mana flare, um, it'll just be game over. Activating his factory. Attacking with the Urnum, the Savannah Lions, and the Factory. So I'm blocking the Savannah Lions and the Factory, two of my Kobolds, and then I will eat the Urnum. Another the Mountain, and it has turn. I'm sorry, I'm attacking for two. And he'll block one of my drill sergeants, and his Linen War will die. He'll take one damage. Now a passing turn. There's a the Library of Alexandria. He's attacking with his Urnum and his Savannah Lions. He's going to source the Plowshare with one of my Kobolds. Okay, I choose to block the Urnum. And I'm explaining to him, if I'm blocking the Urnum, you don't want to put the Giant Growth on that. You'll put it on the Savannah Lions. So, I'll block the Urnum. My Kobold will die. And then, 
He'll take. I'll take five damage from the Savannah Lions of the Giant Griff. There's another mana flare. So really, all I need is a fireball at this point. Okay, he's activating the factory, attacking with the factory, the gen, and the savannah lions. I block the savannah lions with one of my kobolds. It dies, and then I block the or chum block with the Arnim Jin. Ah, oh, and there's an Armageddon. There's a mountain, and that's a game. So first game goes to Armageddon. First turn, Mountain, Mox Ruby. That's a Kobold of Kirk Keep, and then I just put down a Kobold Taskmaster. So what the Taskmaster does, he gives all Kobolds plus one, plus zero. So now my Kobold is a one, one. There's a giant strength on the Kobolds of Kirk Keep. So now it is a three, three. And I'll attack for three. <clears throat> There's a Felwar Stone on his side and a Black Lotus, and he passes turn. There's a Mana Flare, and then I attack for four. Mox Emerald on his side. And a strip mine. And there's an Arnim Gin. It's like he's second the Lotus. And there's a Sarah Angel. There's another Taskmaster. So now my Kobold is a 4-3. I'm sorry, yeah. It's a... Yeah, 4-3. Looks like he's playing a Sylvan Library again. And he's attacking with the Sarah and the Urnum. So I will block the Urnum. And he's going to giant growth his Sarah. Looks like I attack with my kobolds. I 
There's an ice manipulator. It's a reprinted ice manipulator. Looks like he's strip mining one of my mountains here. Looks like he's tapping one of my taskmasters and attacking with his Arnhem. So I'm down to five life. My turn, I attack with the Kobolds. <clears throat> he decides not to block because he wants to kill me next turn. But there's a lightning bolt and then there's a fork which copies any instant or sorcery just cast. So that's six damage dealt to him and he will die. So Kobold Burn takes game number two. And here's game number three. He starts off with the factory. Start off with the mountain and a crimson kobold. There's a plains. And he's playing a balance on turn one. I'm not sure why I did this, but I do lose my kobold and I'll lose a card in hand. And then he'll lose one of his lands. So I discard a fireball, and my kobolds go away, and I explain to him he has to lose land. And he's deciding which land to destroy. And I believe I had a giant strength in my hand, or, some, or two giant strengths, so I was about to pump that kobold up. Okay, he's activating his factory and attacking for two. Here's a kobold drill sergeant. And strip my one of my mountains. <clears throat> and I had mentioned to Timmy the Sorcerer, he's got a great channel, but uh, I commented on one of his games. He was playing against a Kobold deck. Uh, I love playing with this deck, and when it works, it's uh, really beautiful, but like I said, it uh, doesn't win a whole lot of games. But it is a really fun deck to play with. There's a library, and he's got a land tax down from last turn. Looks like he's activating the factory and attacking for two. I'm attacking for one. Because of the balance when I, or because of the uh, strip mine, I only have one land now. Seems like that first game, all I could draw was lands, and now this third game, I can't draw any lands. There's an RNM Gen. And I have to discard, and I discard a Kobold Drill Sergeant. There's an Ice Manipulator. And he's attacking for four. My turn is a lightning bolt to him, just so I don't have to discard it. And pass turn. I really should have attacked that turn, I'm not sure why I didn't. Maybe I'm leaving it there to block. During his turn, Ice Manipulator taps my Kobold Drill Sergeant. He attacks with the Urnum and then Giant Grace it, so that's 7 damage to me. Oh, it looks like he attacks with the factory as well. So I'm down to three. Let's see if I got anything. There's two mountains.
And it looks like that's going to be game. There's a giant strength on the Kobo. Drill Sergeant attacking for three. Desperation move. And that's going to be game. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. And um, look forward to my next video. I'm going to be doing uh, my version of the deck. Uh, and I'll decide what deck to play against. Bye.